My name is Corden Parks. I'm a detective, homicide detective for Salt Lake City Police Department, and we're here today to talk about the Uta von Schwedler case. On uh, September the 27th, 2011, Uta von Schwedler was found deceased inside of her own house. She was in her bathtub uh, in uh, cold water. She was discovered by her boyfriend. And what we're here to talk about particularly is the DNA work that was done on that case. Initially what was found was a uh, partial YSTR profile on her fingernails. There was only five out of 16 markers that uh, were processed and had enough uh, levels of DNA to yield a value for five markers. All five of those markers matched her ex-husband, uh, John Wall. Unfortunately, there were two male children that lived in the house with her also, and so those, uh, that partial YSTR profile also matched her two male children. The case went on for over a year before the MVAC machine was used. Uh, the MVAC machine was used initially on a bloody pillow. Uh, there was a pillow with a small blood stain on it. Uh, the MVAC was used on that. It was huge. It was a huge development. Uh, the MVACing and the finding of Dr. John Wall's alleles on the pillow uh, was one of the two deciding factors in filing the case, filing a murder charge against Dr. John Wall. After the charges were filed, we did additional MVACing on the comforter. Uh, we had a blood spatter expert that we retained and paid. He came in and he recommended that we try uh, MVACing in uh, an area where there was a bloody glove print. And that area also yielded all of Dr. John Wall's alleles. And that was a, a big factor in his conviction. Without the MVACing, uh, we had limited DNA. We had limited results, and the MVACing uh, was very, very useful. The MVAC is a really great machine because it yields uh, up to, what, 20 times more DNA for testing than uh, you'd get by just the traditional swabbing method. So it's huge, and it's hugely helpful in all of our cases. What we find it's really useful for is fabrics, particularly cotton fabrics. It just washes out cells out of fabrics and gives us this 20 times boost in sample for uh, testing, and it's tremendously useful on clothing. Anything to do with cloth fabrics, particularly clothing, victims' clothing, yeah, it'll be huge.